So I decided to do my paper on John Dewey. So John Dewey thought to change the education from a traditional learning setting to more of a problem-based setting. So he thought the students would learn more effectively when they were able to do it themselves and problem solve within partners or groups rather than learning by listening to a lecture from the teacher. Dewey's theories were aligned with the pragmatist theory, which also shows the students learn better when they're collaborating with one another while trying to solve a problem rather than learning by listening to the teacher. So moving on to his early life, he was actually influenced by his mother and father and the time he spent participating in the westward moving frontier. And he actually grew up in Vermont where his family owned a farm and he actually worked on that for a while. And then his family ended up selling the farm and he moved on to owning a grocery store and helping managing that. His father was known for being an entrepreneur businessman and his mother participated a lot in the local church. He learned in his early childhood education years, he um, was forced to memorize material over and over and over again in order to learn them. However, in his secondary education, he focused a lot more on writing, which allowed him to become a very good writer for his time. And then in college, he focused on studying literature, history, and different philosophies that were popular during his time and before him in order to see what failed and what succeeded. Once he graduated college, he actually became a teacher. He believed that education was important in order to reform society. And he also believed that the curriculum should be taught to allow students to learn within the environment they live in and also collaborating with one another um, rather than listening to a teacher and also trying to learn something that they cannot relate to at all. So John Dewey was considered to be a pragmatic philosopher and a progressive educator. So this meant that being a pragmatist, philo pragmatist philosopher meant that he was more interested in how to solve problems going on in the world rather than using different principles that were more abstract to learn. So he wanted kids to learn more on um, things that they could relate to rather than them trying to learn things that they cannot even begin to understand. So he also believed that different peop people go through a lot of different things within their lifetime Therefore, the viewpoints of how they learn things is going to be completely different and they can all learn from each other. And he also believed he focused on both student-centered learning and teacher-instructed learning. So there was not one way that he wanted students to learn. He wanted them to learn collaborating with one another, and also allowing the teacher to teach the students as well. And he also believed that students are always changing, therefore education should always be changing in order to support the needs of the students. So for example, I know at least personally, the students that I get, um, this year, we're completely different than the ones that I had last year. So every year, I always have to adjust the things that I'm teaching a little differently, although I have the same concept, but they're all just going to learn a little bit differently. 
So the main goal of John Dewey's philosophy was to help students develop the opportunity to investigate their mind and solving problems and remembering content rather than using their brain just to memorize it. So this goes back to relating their learning to prior knowledge so that it's embedded more in their long term rather than short term and then when they don't use it, it just goes away. John Dewey stated his concern that education needed to be the most effective that it could be, which meant that the students needed a new approach to learning. He explained that students needed to learn by relating the new information to experiences that they previously had, and they also needed to be engaged in what they were learning about. In order to reach both of these concepts, he focused more on a problem-based approach for his educational theory. When students were able to learn by inquiry-based instruction, it also it helped them practice to make better decisions in a um, split decision rather than and it also helped better under help the students better understand the importance of science and values that were derived from John Dewey. He also believed that the traditional learning was not the best way for students to learn since they were just memorizing the information that the teacher was telling them rather than actually letting it connect to a prior knowledge so that it's built on a more stable foundation. Moving on to the per perspectives of diversity, uh, John Dewey was known as the father of the progressive movement during his time. During this time, the students, there were more students attending school due to the integration of the schools. Um, however, whenever he first started all of his studying and learning about trying to come up with his own theory, the schools were not integrated, so a lot of his focus was not on that. Um, however, he did fight for the equality of students. So he realized that there were some students who had a lot of resources and material. And then there were also students who didn't have anything. So he fought for the right for everyone to have everything they need to learn. Ever since public education became established, there have been many changes to how teachers should teach and how students should learn. Dewey's philosophy of progressive education comes in handy during this since it evolved off the theory that education should always be changing to better suit the needs of the students and also what is going on in the world.